Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back here to another episode on the Beyond Dusk SMP server. Uh, we have a few things in store today. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed episode 1. It was quite a fun little build. Um, you know, starting out this series, you know, we built our little starter house. We went exploring, we died, you know all the episode one stuff <laughs> um, but you guys might notice that I changed a little bit of the build a little bit just here so let's go turn around here and all I really did was just change the strip spruce to the uh, just regular spruce logs uh, I put it up on reddit you know as well and you know asked for some feedback and uh, I thought there was a creep rolling up behind me <laughs> and a few of the guys over there said that you know it just looked a bit plain like this area which I totally agreed so I think this here helps break it up just a little bit more but still keeps the like pretty much original style so yeah I'm pretty happy with it it looks pretty cool um, we are going to be working today on potentially a bridge connecting these two parts over here because I want to get a mine going, um, you know, as you do, you know, you get a mine going, you can get some resources. So this little area over here I thought would be pretty cool for a little entrance. So if we built like a bridge coming across here, we can clear out this kind of area. We can, you know, build like a little bit of a stairway going down into there and then also loop this around because I was thinking about making like some mine cards come up here and make it look super nice and then have like a big smelter section over here. So maybe we can like carve out in this side of the mountain or something and make like an auto smelter over there because that's something I want to do this season is definitely get onto a lot more like a redstone-y kind of builds and stuff now that I'm not like limited to a specific theme or anything like that so I think this could be really fun so I might go ahead and just start chopping away get down to a decent level inside here and get all this cut out and uh, we can come back and tidy all this stuff up after because I probably want to make this out of blackstone I'm thinking or maybe something like that I don't, I don't really know but oh Ooh, there's someone over there. There's Abby. Hey, Abby. Also, someone put in a uh, axolotl in my uh, pond over here, but he seems to be gone. And she's already in diamond armor and enchanted. And oh my god, she wants me to join her. I don't know what I'm joining, but <laughs> we, we we are we are joining the cause. Uh, um, what what did I just join? Maybe I should ask that. Oh, the ruling of the server. <laughs> Dyer and Roth are also part of the cult. I mean, team. <laughs> Okay, so sweet. Now we got some uh, little banners that we got to pop around and, uh, you know, use to show off the uh, alliance. Um, let's go ahead and bloop. And bloop. There we go. Looking good. Awesome. That's cool. Um, I'm, I'm glad I'm not fighting them because, uh, <laughs> as you can see, she's already got diamond enchanted armor and I'm just over here like a little pleb in my bloody iron, iron suit. So let's try and change that today. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's cut away this mine and starting to get going in there as well. Uh, so here we go guys, we got it mined all the way down to the bedrock basically. Um, so we got a fair bit of stuff already. There was a little bit of like a fun little cave to explore down there. So I went and did that. It was it was quite small so nothing too major. That's why I didn't bring you guys back um, when we were in there. There was nothing really that interesting at all. So uh, what we can do here now is we can just go ahead and chuck away all these blocks just here. We are definitely going to be getting a more organized system than just a blocks and... Uh, uh, you know, our wood, wood blocks and all that kind of stuff. So don't worry too much about that. Let's go ahead and get some of these though. We'll probably, I don't want to put in stairs just yet because I'm no doubt going to be, you know, changing, you know, what I'm going to be like an actual design for it and stuff. So, uh, we you know just for the meantime, we can just go ahead and, you know, chuck, chuck that in there. I don't mind just climbing the stairs, you know, as it is, it's all good and no big dramas there, but let's, sweet. So what I do need to do is make a iron pickaxe. Let's go ahead and make up two of those. And there we go. We've got the three just there. That'll be good. And two, four. Awesome. Um, just that way then we can, uh, keep our diamond pick because we're gonna have to get some obsidian, uh, just so we can make an enchantment table, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think that we're going to be a focus on that at the meantime, we'll go down, we'll do a little bit of digging. Uh, we'll try and get some resources and then we can come back and make this thing look good. So yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and start on that stuff. Um, maybe we'll, we'll time lapse a little bit of the recording and stuff for you. You can just watch me go crazy on the mines, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. And uh, I'll leave you in
guys, we are back. Uh, I am like currently starving almost of uh, lack of food. So what we need to go ahead and do is uh, go and find ourselves some cows because uh, we need to, you know, start up a little bit of a farm. So I'm thinking maybe on this side over here, we might do like a little bit of a... Um, like crop area maybe just on like this side here getting like a nice little bit of you know life happening around here as well maybe on that side of there we could do like a little bit of a farmland area or i was thinking of something underneath here would be kind of cool but i don't know like i need to like fully plan out this area maybe we'll smooth out this area maybe use some of this as like i don't know a little bit of a like cow land anyways for the meantime um but we also don't even have any wheat yet so we have to go kill some cows. There are a couple, or kill some animals or something, just so I can get some food. Uh, because last last season, all I was eating was carrots, and it was kind of really annoying. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll cook up these guys. We'll cook these couple of lamb chops here, and uh, we can then go ahead and try and find some cows. Um, as you guys may have saw in the time lapse or not, it would have been going pretty quick. Um, but we did go ahead and manage to find five diamonds, which is awesome. So we now have enough to build our enchantment table and all. Also, another, uh, let's, so as you can see, we got five more diamonds, so we have seven in total now, so we can build another pickaxe and an enchantment table. So we might go ahead and do that right now, actually. So let's go ahead and get our obsidian out. And let's build an enchantment table. What do we need? Like books or something, probably. We'd probably need a book. Bang, there we go. We have our enchantment table done. Let's go ahead and build one more diamond pick, and we might build a sword, do we think? I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll, we might save that till we decide what we actually want to build. So I did go ahead and find some cows. There are a couple behind this little mountain over here. So what we probably should have done is tidied up this area first before bringing them over. That's probably a really good idea. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. Okay, so we got our cows in our little pen over this side here. Uh, really nothing too major um, for them just at the moment. But we, of course, will like get a, a nice design going ahead uh, later on. But for now, I just need some food. So this is what we're going with just there. So we should probably also get a couple of crops going as well. Um, maybe that's what we'll use this little area just over here for. We might go ahead and tidy up this here. We might build a nice little crop farm just down here. I think that would look pretty cool just over this way you know it's pretty close to our like um cozy place and all that kind of stuff so yeah it'll be pretty good we also probably need to make some bread because like i'm starving to death and this is just not good so yes i think maybe this little area just here would be pretty cool so if we go ahead and use this, this kind of as like a circular area we'll just go ahead and like fence off I guess some of this kind of area around here we'll kind of leave that area just there for the pathway to run along so something like this here would work out pretty well I'm thinking so just a nice little kind of area just here I'm going to use like the deep slate and all that kind of stuff just I think it's going to look really nice as far as like the build and everything goes so what we will do is come in here we'll get some of these different blocks and things and these stair types and different variants and all that kind of stuff just to add a little bit more uh, texturing around the place as well. So let's go ahead and get all these stairs in. So let's just go ahead and fill in this uh, little barrier just here. It might be the easiest way to do things. Um, and then that way we can come along and fill in the rest as we need to. So let's go ahead and maybe put that there. We'll put our fences just there. And then from here, we can come around and add in like the different textures and the different blocks and things and really make this thing come to life, I reckon. So let's go ahead and add that there. We can probably get rid of this and add in maybe a nice step just there. Those two are the same. Let's get these in here. Go ahead and get a couple of different like slab variations as well. I think that could look pretty cool, like to kind of break up this leveling a bit more. Um, let's throw in another wall just there, I reckon would work pretty good. And let's get another one of those in there. Do we have any more of those? Probably not. Let's come over here. Give me some of these ones, I reckon. That look pretty nice. And let's go up there, there. And let's chuck him over this way. And. I think that's looking pretty cool. Uh, nothing too crazy, but like it gets, I keep hearing like bloody, it sounds like it's um, 
creep is like blowing up behind me, but it's obviously not because there's none, none around. But uh, for this bit here, we'll probably just go ahead and fill in this little floor just here. We'll do something like that for the pathway, maybe. That perfect amount. Um, that should be enough there to sustain everything. Uh, we can also then come around here and put a couple of lanterns out as well to help this area keep nice and lit up. But I unfortunately ran out, so I'm going to have to replace these with lanterns. But for the meantime, it's looking all right as it is. So, yeah, that's our nice little area just there. Do we have any coarse dirt on us? No. That's all right. This should be enough to grow up and uh, let it all do its thing. So we might even put a couple of these uh, slabs over top. Just I like the way it just kind of makes it feel, um, you know, adds that nice little bit of extra, just something so you don't see the water blocks. It would be kind of cool to add them all the way through here, but because we're kind of using it for our pathway, I don't really know if we will, but for the meantime, this little farm here will do as justice and uh, be a nice little area, but of course we will eventually upgrade all of this stuff here as well. And we got a couple of apples because that's good because I have no more food left. <laughs> Uh, one thing I was thinking of with this village, like once I get everything sorted, like and probably start tearing it down and kind of rebuilding it as it is, um, I think would be really cool is to use blackstone as the pathways. I think that would kind of like really make like this super like old school village style, you know, cut the stone paths everywhere. I think it would look really nice with the blackstone rather than just this standard pathway that we pretty much always use. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty keen to get that like kind of underway and looking pretty good if we can do that so hopefully soon we will um you know it's just too hard to mine all this stuff with just like a plain uh pickaxe so if we can get a cool enchant and stuff going then that would be pretty sick um, but let's go ahead and chuck this stuff back in here. We'll let that grow so we're at least sorted on that stage. Um, but I think we should go ahead and work on making this mine entrance looking nice because at the moment it's kind of a current big hole and we got like this abundance. So at least, you know, if we have a nice mine entrance, I feel like we've at least built something decent this episode rather than just all this like trash stuff so what we might go ahead and do is start demolishing this stuff over here getting this nice pathway leading over to the area that we want and potentially looking at building this bridge as well so we'll see how we go but yeah i guess i'll just jump into it and um yeah i don't think i'm gonna be able to time lapse it again for you guys just because i don't have replay mod obviously yet and uh my internet is too bad to host like two people on one server so with my current internet so that's quite unfortunate but uh maybe we can come back and i can kind of like talk through you guys when i get to building it so yeah i'll meet you guys back in a moment so i was thinking maybe something for the mine entrance kind of like Kind of obviously like using this environment as it is. So what we might go ahead and do is we got one there. Let's do one there. Let's try to shave back some of this, I think, just so we have a bit more room to work with. But it's kind of nice that it's already like mostly dug out and things. So that's pretty good for us. So we could do something like this should be looking somewhat natural and as you can see the pathway will then lead down and around over that way so that's all sorted and then we have this mountain side coming along here so that will kind of work out as well for us um, and then I was thinking maybe we'll get some spruce oh no way actually I want to go ahead and use this chiseled so let's go just there and then we might spruce this up maybe two blocks or something right Hold with me, it's going to look pretty good. And hopefully, hopefully, then now we can go ahead and uh, maybe chuck in some of these on the side just here. There we go. We'll get rid of this and just there. We'll pop that down. Nice. How does that look? Those blocks look pretty cool. Let's see what these are actually like. These ones look like. Ooh, they are some nice looking bricks, but... I don't know. I think we're going to have to go with the, uh, maybe we only use those for like some stairs or something coming down, but I think these ones here will look pretty cool as like kind of like the entrance blocks. I think they look pretty sweet like that. Um, then maybe we might get some like an arch. Oh God. I got to watch out here. There's so many like drop off points and I've done it like so much already. There we go. So then we'll get like a nice archway coming up in here as well. And I think that'll look pretty cool. And then we can like deep slate all this coming down. I think that would look sick. So let's go ahead and find 
instead of that, we put another chisel deep slate across there. We can add a nice bit of a cross beam happening over this way. I think that could work out pretty well. We'll go ahead and strip these, I'm thinking, just to kind of blend in that texturing a little bit better. Um, and then from here, what we might do is actually come into the inside and add kind of this chiseled, uh, chibbles, chiseled, chibble? The chiseled stone. Uh, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Let's go ahead and put that in there. We can add one just there. I think that will help kind of blend this a little bit better. Um, let's go ahead and chop use out as well. Okay, that does help me like visualize this a little bit better with closing off that back area. Obviously, we'll change this up and make it look a bit nicer. But uh, for the meantime, I think that's looking pretty all right. Um, we probably need to do a little bit more on top just here. Maybe we'll go ahead and add some of this kind of like... Uh, overhanging like a little bit of an arcway I guess like something like similar to that to kind of make it uh, seem like a bit more of a roof style rather than an actual uh, like entrance I guess so let's go ahead and make this like super high I think that would look pretty cool like a big like fantasy styled um, entrance so if we got a double there let's go ahead and put one more up there I think that looked pretty cool that's really big but I think it's gonna look pretty sweet uh, coming in yeah that's going to look sick. So basically what I'm thinking here is we'll duplicate this, right? We'll bring this over this side here and it'll make it look like it's more of like a house built into the wall rather than just kind of like a big door frame, I guess. So yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on this other side. If I can place the stairs right, uh, let's go one there. Let's do an upside down, a regular, and upside down. Then we have two regular blocks, one more upside down, and then we have a one regular block on top of that as well. And then from here, maybe we can go ahead and add in some peaks just like this. I think that would look pretty nice. And we could probably add one more on either side there. Would that look all right? I think that would help it out a little bit as well. Let's go ahead and do that. We might even change these the other direction so then they face this way. There we go, cool. And then we can go ahead and extend that backwards, I believe would look pretty nicely. If we, yeah, if we extend that back, maybe that looks a bit too chunky. We might shave off a layer, maybe. Let's have a look at it from back over here. Yeah, it looks a bit chunky on like this edge. So we might take off that one stair. I think that would probably help out the issue a lot. And then we can extend that backwards. And then we can add kind of like that deep slate coming up through inside the roof just there. I think that's going to look epic. Maybe we can use some of the tough blocks actually because we use that for our roof on our current building. Like a tough cobblestone andesite mixture. I think that always looks really nice. It's a, such an awesome block. Like, I'm a big fan of this, like, tough block, whatever it is. Um, so, if you get some of that, awesome. Let's extend that back one more. Let's go ahead and chop off these stairs. I think that's what's going to make it seem that little bit thinner. Or we might even take this off and do that. That might help out a lot as well. So, let's go ahead and get rid of these two and make it that. I think that will uh, work out pretty nicely. So, let's go ahead and extend... We want to extend that? No, we won't actually. So we'll use the like tough uh, cobblestone andesite like combo, like just kind of here. I think that would look pretty nice. And let's go ahead and just get some of this just here. And this kind of looks like it extends all the way through to the like cliffside as well, which I think is going to look really nice once it's all done. Um, so let's go ahead and just finish off this. Oh yeah, I think that's looking pretty cool. And then what we might go ahead and use is like some deep slate on this front facing area just to kind of black it out. I think it's going to look pretty epic once that's all in there as well. So do we have any dirt blocks? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and jump up in here. Oh yeah, I think that's going to make it really just pop and uh, stand out just that little bit extra. Let's go ahead and cover you in just there. And then we might even just add in a little bit more detail on this front section. So we'll add a little bit of the trap doors just there. Um, still not overly happy with this kind of area just here. But I don't know. Maybe we can add a little bit of something else to it. It just looks like a little bit too chunky still. I don't know if it's just because it's like a double block and normally I'm used to seeing single blocks up there. But 
I don't know. I think the, the trapdoors definitely helped a lot up there. Uh, whether or not we can add something onto the sides here, maybe a little bit of a, like a overhang or maybe some signs or something like that. But I think we might have to go and kill some of these cows because I am again starving to death. I don't really want to kill these ones. We might go venture really quick and find some other food. Something I did do on the other roof was add in a few of these like extra like uh, walls and things just to add a little bit more texture I guess to the build. So let's go ahead and add a few of them to this wall around here as well. They'll probably help out uh, a fair bit. So let's go ahead and get a couple of these just in here and sprinkled around and that will probably uh, just add a little bit extra bit of detail as well. So that's always nice, always something we try and do here. So thinking what I might do is kind of add this little section just here to make it act like it's, I guess, kind of like a a little uh, door sort of thing, but it's not at the same time. So it adds that kind of little bit extra, um, a bit of like room, I suppose, here on the sides. And then something we could do just here, uh, maybe is take out like this stair just here. Okay, we'll put those on the side there, hang our lanterns off those and in there as well. And I think that will look pretty sweet. Let's go have a look at it from back here. How's that looking? Pretty cool. I want to go chuck those lanterns in and see what it looks like, so. Oh, yeah. I think that looks pretty sweet. What do you guys reckon of that? I think that looks epic. Well, not like epic, epic, but like it's a nice little starter mine entrance, you know. We'll soon fix up like this kind of area and stuff, adding the nice pathways coming across. And I think that's going to look epic, but we will go ahead and I guess we'll jump inside of it now and start working on like the inside. So I'm probably going to have to dig up like another whole layer of this, I would imagine. Add in some black stone going down. I don't know if I actually want to do that because that's going to add a lot of black stone that I'm going to have to you know, then dig up. So maybe I'll do like a a stone feature down here or something like that. Or we might actually like wait until we have maybe the like, um, we might wait till we have like, uh, what's it called? Silk touch to do this actually. But we'll probably add the black stone. We'll add some stairs of some kind coming down into here. Um, but we might leave it for the meantime. But we should probably tidy up this little area anyways. Make it look nice and good while we're here. Um, maybe something we could we maybe I could add spruce stairs going down into the mine. I don't think that'd be a terrible idea. We head down this way and we go bang bang. Sweet, I think that looks pretty nice. And then we'll, yeah, cruise down there. We maybe could even add like maybe a couple like chests or something in here. There we go. Make it look a little bit more uh, nicer on the here. Uh, oh my God, I always keep falling off this thing. It's so annoying. How do we get a barrel all the way over there? Okay, so let's go ahead and add in a little bit of a pathway leading over this direction. As I said, we might come back and change all this to blackstone as well eventually once we, you know, can actually mine it decent at like a decent rate um that'd probably be not a terrible idea uh but you know for the meantime this was will do it looks nice you know it's a nice path anyways like that's why people use it all the time because it looks good and it, it gets the job done so yeah it adds a nice little bit of uh interest to the place and uh yeah that's it's pretty cool i like the pathway anyways like it's yeah as i said it's a pretty easy design as well Alrighty guys, with uh, this mine entrance now being completed, uh, we have our little starter farms over this way and back over that way. I think we might go ahead and wrap up the episode just there guys. So if you have enjoyed it all, don't forget that like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.